This is Michael Wilson. We're looking at embracing the power of the Holy Spirit, a journey of revelation and transformation. So there are moments in uh, a profound revelation that alter the course of our lives together. In the sacred pages of Acts 19, verses 1 to 2, we encounter such a moment, one that transcends time and space, resonating with the eternal truth of spiritual awakening. The exchange between the disciples and Paul echoes through the corridors of history, inviting us to ponder the depth of our own spiritual journey and the transformative power of the Holy Spirit. So it happened while uh, Apollos was in Corinth, Paul passed through the inland country and came to Ephesus. There he found some disciples and he said to them, did you receive the Holy Spirit when you believed? And they said, no, we have not even heard there is the Holy Spirit. So these words, seemingly simple, they were imbued with the profound significance encapsulating a pivotal moment in the lives of the disciples at Ephesus. Their response unveils a journey marked by the earnest seeking and a hunger for the divine truth. So in our own lives, we may find echoes of the disciples' journey, moments when we realize the depths of our spiritual hunger and the longing for a deeper connection with the divine. Like them, we may have embarked on a journey of faith, believing in the teachings of the Messiah, yet unaware of the fullness of the Holy Spirit's presence and power. No, we have not even heard there's a Holy Spirit. That's their response. And it reflects not only their humility, but also their openness to receive a new revelation. So it serves as a poignant reminder that our spiritual journey is a continuous unfolding, a journey of exploration and discovery. It is guided by the gentle whispers of the Holy Spirit. For many, and this is unfortunate, the Holy Spirit remains an enigmatic presence often overshadowed by the more tangible aspects of faith. Yet the scriptures abound with references to the Holy Spirit as the comforter, the counselor, and the advocate. And on many occasions, not just one, the early apostles were filled with the Holy Spirit. And so the Spirit brings the presence about with a profound transformation in the lives of believers. So when we embrace the Holy Spirit, it is not merely an intellectual pursuit, but it's a soul-stirring encounter that transcends human understanding. It is a surrender to the divine presence, a relinquishing of control as we yield to the Spirit's guidance and wisdom. In the bustling marketplace of life, where distractions abound and voices clamor for our attention, the Holy Spirit beckons us the stillness. So the journey of receiving the Holy Spirit is not confined to this single moment, but unfolds as a lifelong process of spiritual growth and deepening in an intimacy with God. In the words of the Apostle Paul, do not quench the Holy Spirit. So let us heed these words with reverence and humility, embracing the transformative power of the Holy Spirit, allowing us to uh, empower us with the sacred flame to burn fly, brightly within us. May we, like the disciples at Ephesus, open our hearts to receive the Holy Spirit. And as we journey onward, may the words of Apostle Paul serve as our guiding light, reminding us of the profound significance of embracing the Holy Spirit, surrendering to the transformative power of divine love. So here's the bottom line. In the sacred scope of human history, moments of revelation beckon us to embark on a journey of spiritual awakening and transformation. The encounter between the disciples, Paul, and the Holy Spirit stands as a testament to the timeless truth of the Spirit's presence and power, inviting us to embark on a journey of discovery and embrace the transformative grace of God. And that's some mighty good news, brothers and sisters.